What's going on everybody? It's Dirty30 here. Uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, what I got going on in my uh, combat record. I'm just an average player. I just like to play the game and run around. And uh, the clip that I have coming up for you is uh, Therese, I think it's called. And yeah, I like to run around, jump around. My KD ain't that great. I really don't give a shit about my KD. I'm not Italy. allowed to If I get it up there, it's up there. But I like to have fun. Um, showed you what I got in, uh, my supply drops. I don't get much ever. I barely get elite weapons. Um, and if I do get elite weapons, it's weapons I don't even use. Like the, like, like the scorpion looking guns, whatever the hell they're called. They look like the vector. They're elite. I just got them in there. Right after this game, I got it. And now I'm using this gun. The, I forget what gun it is. It's the HSM1 or something like that. But this is the elite version. And it comes with an extended bag on it. It's pretty good. I like I like it. I've been using it. This is my best game with it. My best game so far on here. 30 and 6. And this is my first elite weapon that I actually like. And actually prefer to use. And I recommend using it. And it comes with an extended mag. And I think the version is the... Uh, like the Thompson. I forget what it's called. But it's like the Thompson. And it has a drum mag. And it has like 60 something bullets. I forget, when I reload, I'll let you know, but look down in the right hand corner, you can see how many bullets is in here, yeah, right here, 67, and you can shoot about like four guys, and if you had rapid fire on this, I'm trying to unlock it, if you got rapid fire on here, it'd be nuts, I think you'd get so many kills, and you'd kill, you'd kill them a lot quicker, and I'm actually using the, um, the foregrip, and the extended bag that it comes with it, and I think that's it, and then I get all my kill streaks right here in the beginning, it's pretty sane, like, it's nuts, I like this gun, it feels good, and the recoil, when you first shoot the recoils back, then you can control it right after, like right after you start shooting the first, like, first shot, two shots, it's perfect, it's, it's amazing, I like this gun right now, and you can kind of get kills from far away, but they, Sledgehammer Games, they have to make these SMGs a lot better, like, so many hit markers, like, oh, so many hit markers right there, and that guy quick killed me, <sighs> but there's so many... So many hit markers in this game, like the connection, they updated it last night I think, a lot of guys on uh, YouTube and Twitter were tweeting to all these other YouTubers and stuff about it, I follow a bunch of YouTubers, and they were telling them how good the game was, um, and it was actually pretty good today, and I'm playing right now, it's the 15th I think today is, and it's about 5 o'clock, and I just I just recorded this game, uh, this game, Team Deathmatch, and this was my best game, 30 and 6, Elite Weapon, HSM1 I think it's called, but it's the uh, Elite version of it, and freaking nuts, comes with the dual mag, like look at, look at that, it's freaking nuts, I love this gun, the dual, the drum mag is insane, 67, that's, that, that's the most I've seen so far in a weapon, but it's actually in a gun that can shoot and put bullets down range, and they keep them in a straight line too, like you don't just jump, jump around, like it doesn't just hop around when you shoot, the recoil ain't that bad. Uh, what else did they do? The connections? Oh, I think they don't have, uh, what do you call it? Skill-based matchmaking? They don't have that anymore, I don't think, because I've been playing with guys that are, uh, level 8s, level 2s, 10s, first prestiges. Uh, it's, it's pretty good connection right now. I had one bad connection in the beginning of the day, around 11 o'clock. I was, like, the only one in the, in the whole lobby playing the game that was one bar. It made no sense, so I backed down, went to another game. Perfect. But the connections, they're working on it. They are listening to us, I guess. Because I've been following Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry on uh, Twitter. And they're always updating, they're always tweeting out. It's pretty nuts, though. How the connections are, were on and off, and now they're good. I don't get why they couldn't have done that in the beginning. Because this game's been out for 10 years, I think people have been saying. 10 years. I thought it was more than that. Because there's other Call of Duties and PS2 and stuff. But since the 360, I think it's been around 10 years. But, uh, yeah, the game needs a lot more patching, though. The guns, the SMGs are nuts. A lot of people are still using the bow. But when I'm in the lobbies with the new people, they're trying to all these new guns, and hopefully when they watch my gameplay, and then they watch how I play after they die, like, look at the different guns. Try them all out. I try all the different guns out. I don't just sit there, pick one gun, and just use it. Like, yeah, I'll get the camos, but I give up after all, because it's kind of boring using the same gun over and over and over again, because eventually they're going to nerf that weapon, like the bow. They're going to nerf it, or they're going to buff the other weapons. They should just buff the other weapons, leave the battle the way it is. 
because as soon as you nerf it, you nerf any gun in Call of Duty, like they did in uh, Ghosts, and they uh, they nerfed the, uh, the I forget what gun it was, three round three round burst gun. I forget what they did, and that sucked. Everybody was complaining about it. Like in Brown War, they couldn't they couldn't do anything. They couldn't do anything on the large map because when they shot it, the range was awesome in the beginning when they had the game first come out. The range was awesome on that gun, the three round burst gun in Ghosts, and you could kill people across the maps. Then after two months, three months, they nerfed it for uh, MLG because that's all they care about in this freaking game now is the MLG. And now the gun, no one ever uses it. I barely use that three round burst gun in Ghosts. And if they do this in Bow, in the <laughs> Bow, Battle of Duty, and if they did this in Call of Duty with the Bow, Advanced Warfare, no one's gonna use that gun. It's gonna be nerfed. I don't know how they change the variants of the gun because there's 10 different variants of each gun, I think. And if you nerf the Bow regular version, what about the Elite version? What about the professional version? What about all the other versions of the gun? Are they gonna nerf all those? Are they gonna make them better? No one's thinking about this. Like, leave the battle the way it is. Buff the guns. Buff the SMGs. When they're when I'm with the SMG up close, I should kill you instantly with two bullets. Two, three bullets, I should kill you. I should not get four or five hit markers up close. I can see four or five hit markers halfway across the map. That makes sense, it's an SMG. But when I'm using the SMG up close from here, right here, I shouldn't get all these hit markers. Nuts. That is purely insane how I'm getting all these hit markers right now. And they should just fix it. Like, don't nerf weapons, buff weapons. You buff the weapons, everything will work out, everything will be okay. And it, everybody will still have fun. The battle will still be used. It won't be just a gun that you use for the first two weeks, first month, and then just toss away. Oh, that was dirty. And just, I don't want the game to be ruined. I like this game, this game's fun. But when you get in lobbies with kids, like, actually, like, I've noticed since this is, I don't think they're using skill-based matchmaking anymore because I'm getting in lobbies with first prestige, kids that are on level 10 of the first prestige. A lot of these kids don't know how to play. And I was watching uh, one YouTuber, Hope of the Mind, the name's Fist of Cuffs, and he was talking about, like, people, lo the longevity of the game, longevity of the game, and he's right. Like, if you don't do something with this game, uh, there's a lot of people that they're gonna get beasted on by someone like me, 30 and 6 in this game, Team Deathmatch. And somebody else can go 50, like I saw Fist of Cuffs on Twitter. He had like a game, I think he had like 50 kills or something in Ground War. 50 and like 6, 50, I don't know what the hell it was. But he was beasted on kids, I'm beasted on kids right now. You get a bunch of us like that, getting new kids that are coming in the game. Like, they're not gonna stay. They're just gonna back out. So I hope they figure this game out. I hope they buff weapons, I hope they do not nerf them. And yeah, I went 30 and 6 in this game, my best game, I love this gun, HSM1 I think it's called. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, subscribe and like, please, thank you.